All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Hashtag Academy Series 3. This is probably my favourite of all the projects we do here at Hashtag United. We're going to find the newest Hashtag Superstar to sign for the first team. As you may know, if you've seen the announcement video, this is the biggest version of Hashtag Academy we've ever done. The biggest prize ever. A contract worth up to £6,000. But not just one prize, there's two of them. Because we're going to have a winner for the men's team and a winner for the women's team. In today's episode, you are going to see our trials. Three trials, to be precise, across three different days. Two men's trials, one women's trials. We've had thousands and thousands of applicants, but we've boiled that down to just roughly 200 players that we're going to see across this episode. And we're going to have the difficult task of taking a much smaller amount of players through to the next episode, where we can look at them a bit more closely. As ever, we want to give you guys the chance to be part of the decision-making process and help us decide who goes through. We're going to be doing that for this series of the Hashtag Academy for a collection of live-streamed games. You'll get to see the games before they go on YouTube in highlights form. The money that that's going to generate us helps us fund the series and helps the club, so we appreciate any support you can offer. Make sure, if you don't want to miss out on any of the Hashtag Academy content, you subscribe to the channel. A load of you who watch our videos every week aren't subscribed. What are you doing? We make great series like the Academy and so much more, so please subscribe. Right, without further ado, it's time to find out who is going to shine, whose name must we remember? Who will be the new Scott Pollock, the new Joshua Sude? Let's go. Right, guys, welcome to the Hashtag Academy Series 3. Great to have you all out. We're going to play some football tonight, obviously, and we're going to be putting some of you through to the next episode. We're not going to tell you today if you've made it. That's purely just to help things move along and, and go smoother and allow you to get home. We really enjoy doing the Hashtag Academy, guys. It's, it's a, my favourite project of all the projects we do. Really rewarding. We've met a lot of people, some of which are here behind me, that have played for us or, or worked with us even after the process. Mostly, guys, I'll just say enjoy your football tonight. Uh, get to know your teammates. Some great friendships have been made at Hashtag Academies in the past. And do your best to show us what you've got. You've got limited time, but we'll do our best to, to put the right people through and see some of you in the next episode. Good luck. Can you talk to us a little bit about your previous clubs and your background? So I currently play for uh, Mayan Baker with uh, Kane Brogram, who obviously used to play for Hashtag. Um, after I finished uni, just joined, joined Bakers, so currently playing there. And what do you think you can bring to Hashtag United? Um, first of all, hard work. Um, always always known, known for my work rate and hard work. Um, yeah, a bit of agility, um, moving the ball quite quickly. Yeah, I, I think I'd slot in quite nicely. Or I'd like to think so anyway. So this person here, okay, is Tom Lee's editor. I don't know how he's got himself in, but actually I know how he does, how he has, because he's very decent at football, aren't you? Uh, you could say that. I mean, Tom's been gassing me up all week, but um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to prove it today. I thought I had a bit of pressure, but you know, don't know. play the level. You know. <laughs> so I'm going to put Lee Stug under pressure. Do you think your editor has what it takes to go the whole way? Yeah, I don't want to gas him up too much because he's next to me, but I think he has got to be. I told him to come down here. I've been in the office all week telling him that he's the second coming of Bobby Moore, so hopefully he can just prove it as he goes through, get through today and go all the way. Ram well, here with Tom Hardy, in-game media and news over at FM. How important is it for you to come to things like this? Yeah, it's really important. It's obviously great to be here representing FM and um, it's really important from our side to come down to things like that. Um, we have over a thousand researchers uh, that put their data into the game and um, detail is what we're all about. So things like today where you can see players um, in the flesh and see individual attributes and uh, how they work as a team with new players as well is, is, is what makes the game. And have you seen any players out there that you'd like the look of? Could you provide us with some numbers and names? Yeah, so the 1-3-2 uh, for the Silvers, I thought, was a composed centre-back, uh, controlled the play for them. How have you found today so far? Yeah, I found today very good. You know, There's a lot of you know quality players and it's, like a, it's a good place you know to test yourself. And do you think you have what it takes to go all the way in this competition? And what position do you play? Do you feel like you can take someone else's role in this team? Um, I've, actually, I've played everywhere. I started off as a winger, actually. Um, so I've played left back, right back, but my main position is the centre back. Right now, I'm not really focusing on you know winning the competition. I'm kind of taking it you know game by game just to see how I play. And then one five two for the Greens as well. Uh, had good feet, scored a nice goal as well, and been communicating with his team as well. 
Liam, you played for Hoddesdon, you played us a few times. Were you feeling nervous when you played us? No, not at all. No, at all. We, need, we should have won. You scored 90, 90 second. It was 1 1. And um, obviously, here at the Hashtag Academy today, do you think you have what it takes to slip straight into the first team? 100%. Oh, he's brave, he's just saying yes. Have you got any numbers that you can give to us so far? Um, the one I've uh, just marked him down as excellent Owen Bellamy of the Oranges, number 167. There's a boy just behind us here, 144. He's scored a couple of really good goals. Last season I signed at Hayward Smiths. Um, Pagey was over there in goalkeeper. goalkeeper. Um, he, was, he was a very good role model for me. The season I came to Hashtag, when I came into playing the FA Cup, he was playing at Hayward, so as I just left, he's a lively winger, very young, very raw, so he's still got to learn a bit, but those are the exciting players that can kind of shine in these scenarios. What do you think you could bring to Hashtag United? Um, confidence and um, just my, myself. Obviously, you are a talent hunter. Have you seen any talent today? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of good players. Um, Green, 184, to be honest, from what I've seen, looks, looks one of the best players here. Very comfortable. Um, looks like he's hardly getting out of second gear, to be honest. Just looks really comfortable on the ball. At the moment, I'm at Clapton. Uh, step five, same league as you lot. Uh, a few months ago, I was at Woodford Town as well. We played you. Should have won that game, to be fair. But uh, And then last season, I was playing pro in Kosovo. But due to Corona, it kind of forced me back back to England. What do you think you could bring to Hashtag United? I think I can bring a lot. I feel like I'm good enough technically to, to bring something to the team. I think I've got a bit of a personality about me as well. So in the change room, I'm not going to be like a, I'm not going to be boring. I think I'll bring something to the change room as well. Amazing, because that's very important, obviously, being a part of Hashtag United. Um, and do you think you have what it takes to win this competition? Yeah, of course I do. I've, I've had confidence in myself. I've, I feel good enough to, to play at a very good level, and I think I can win this year. There's a young lad as well, uh, Blue154. He's probably one of the younger ones here. Um, needs a little bit more confidence, but has got some real good raw abilities, pace. So Luca is here from season two, the last season of the academy. You're back. What have you been doing for the last two years? I've just been playing men's football, trying to work on myself, make sure I get do better this time. And what do you think you can give to the hashtag team this time around? Um, I think I've got great quality on the ball, I work really hard, and I really think I'll add something to the team. Do you think you can go all the way this time? Definitely. What did you just say to me? You see, not this, this kid right here, this guy right here, he's a centre back, and I can't lie, my money's on him to win it, I'll be honest with you. I know I'm saying I'm a centre back as well, but nothing wrong with a bit of competition, man. Uh, I was at my county from like 16 to 17, 15 to 17 rather, and then um, played for Averley, just like non-league in the EJA, bit of a key. Uh, and then I've been at Harlow last season, but I suffered with a few injuries, so just getting back into it now. And do you think you have what it takes to win this competition? Yeah, definitely. I'm winning it. Guys. Right, so I want to take a little time out of the episode to say thank you to UCFB. That is the University Campus of Football Business. These guys are making this series possible, absolute legends, and it's the place to go to get an education in football. If you want to have a career in football one day, what a way to start than learning everything you can at UCFB. I know a lot of people that have come out of some of their courses, whether it's at the Wembley London campus, the Etihad Manchester campus, they've got campuses all over the place. Check out the links in the description if you think this could be something that could work for you. Uh, like I say, they're making this series possible. They've allowed us to go from one to two prizes. Obviously, one of those prizes is going to the winner of the women's series. So let's take an opportunity to join our first ever women's trial. Debbie, listen, we're here making history today. We are. This is exciting, mate. I'm loving it. And we've got Sergeant Samways in the middle. We're absolutely running stuff now. Emma Samways, soon to become police officer Samways. She is taking control of this game, let me tell you right now. She's everywhere. She's like messy. So I come from Dorset originally, um, and I've played for Yeovil Town, Geisley um, in Leeds, and then currently I play for Huddersfield Town in the Women's Northern Premier League. A big question is, do you think that you can go all the way and win it? 
<laughs> oh, I hate questions like this. Um, gonna go, yeah, yeah, why not be confident? Okay, so it'd be rude not to speak to the legend that is Alex. Look, listen, what are we looking for today? I'm looking for someone that's going to work hard, communicate. If they make a mistake, they win the ball back. Um, someone that's just all-round athlete and wants to be here and is super keen. I've been at Reading, um, I played for Essex County for a little bit, I'm currently at Cardiff Met this season, um, which really enjoying it there, like some great coaches, great players, um, and then I guess the biggest experience I had was out in America for four years, uh, completely different game out there, a lot, uh, I guess fitness wise, just completely changed me, um, being a like English centre back, it wasn't really something I focused on before, but yeah, definitely helped my game a lot. Spend dog in the distance. Spend the second game's finished. Who impressed you? Uh, a couple of players. A decent little two 0 win. Uh, I thought the centre back partnership really good. Uh, Beth Brogan, yep. solid. Uh, Elena Finneran was next to her. She went to centre mid later on in the game. Scored a goal as well. Elena. Also, um, Macy Walcott looked really good. I, I just found out apparently she scored five against our under 18s recently. Uh, she's, she's one to watch. Uh, so I started playing off with boys at uh, Lee Ramblers. And then I went to the Gelsley Ramblers and I was there for a few seasons. And then the whole team moved over to, over to Canvey Island. And I was also dual signed to Tottenham for a year, which was a good experience to play at a high level. And then I'm currently playing at Barking Abbey Sixth Form as well as Canvey. So playing at a high level, a student athlete, and it's a good experience really. No, the, the ability has been there. I think there's a lot of young players as well. So thinking about how good some of these goals could be in two, three years, and we've got some 16-year-olds, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really encouraged. Uh, last one I've seen that I don't think I've talked to you about yet is, is Tyra Mills. Uh, mate, she's rapid on the ball. She's real quick. She's technically, probably the best player here, I'd say. Like, in what she can do with the ball, I'm really impressed. Uh, I'd like to know a bit more about her. Um, I know she took part in the BT Sport uh, sort of... Um, search for a woman player previously, so I've seen her before. Let's talk a little, a little bit about your background. Where have you played before and where are you currently playing? Um, I currently, so I started off at Brentford, then I went to Ashford Town, then I went to Spurs for three years, under 23s. I was playing first team friendlies, then I went to Ash, uh, Enfield Town first team, then I went to Watford under 23s. And do you think you have what it takes to go all the way? Of course I do. <laughs> of course I do. Energy. <laughs> Love that. Lavinia, Rose, Tidy, Jones. Oh my goodness. But um, well done today, first of all. But um, one question I have is, is what, what is the relation to West Ham you currently have? Oh. <laughs> well, my, my, my brother's in like the um, under 18 squad striker and my dad was a striker, so I'm trying to live up to the, to the dream. So Jace, it's come to the end of the night. How have you found it? Mate, it's been really good, really good. We've seen some Standout players. We've seen some girls that have got real potential. Um, there's not been too many players that have uh, really let you know let us down, let themselves down tonight. So happy boy. Okay, so the game has now finished. We have not got long left until the lights turn off. That's why we're walking straight back into the changing rooms right now. But this is now where we find out who's going to go through. 
So um, I'm just going to go around and see who impressed you all. Grace, who have you got written down? I've got two centre backs, uh, number 10, Beth, yeah. and number 30, Eleanor. She, um, Eleanor in particular, she played um, defensive mid as well for a little bit and she scored a bit of a screamer. Yeah. Um, so she caught my eye. Macy, forward, she scored a couple of goals. Yeah. Um, and also, again, young, so potential. And then Tyra, uh, she was really good going forwards. Uh, great feet. It's a bit of a threat. Wasn't it? Rapid, so, isn't she, on the ball? Yeah. Up number 36, Emma Samways. I think she wowed us all in that first game. I think that's a no-brainer. And number 38, Isabella Darby. Young player, young centre midfielder. I thought she absolutely ran the show in the game she played in. Megan Weering, number 72, also 16. I mean, she could have been 26, and I would have believed you in the terms of the way she played. Jason, have you been happy in general with the quality tonight? Obviously, you've got to pick the winner eventually. I know there was a couple of players on paper that stood out, but like you said, those young players and the people that have been mentioned, if you were to ask me to drop a top 10, all of those would be in that top yeah. 10. We continue deliberating long into the night, working out which women were going to make it through to the next stage. We'll see them all again in a future episode. But for now, let's rejoin the men's action. Devs, season three of the academy. We, you've, what? Had, you've had all night to annoy me, and you wait till we start. Yeah, well, look, listen, it's my job. I want to see what you look. I want to see you like job, live and direct. My job to annoy me. Yeah, well, we've got a good relationship anyway. Anyway, yeah. so what are we looking for this time around, Devs? New player. We haven't been watching the football for too long, but have you seen anything that's caught your eye? I have. I have. But because you listen, you you did find some unbelievable talent that did go on to win the show in season one so listen you got a good eye for it i'm saving it obviously that that, that the phrase that we all know that Sharon doesn't need to be named doesn't get wheeled out willy-nilly um but the start has been quite bright there's been i've watched just this one match and i've already got four or five players that look pretty tidy what team are you looking after the the blue team but i thought let me just check out you know the talent see what's out there and i can't lie on the grey team, there's number 48. You might recognise him. We played against Woodford at Harlow. Um, I, I done a little back pass and he chopped me and scored. So I, that's the main reason why I recognised him. So, I mean, I've got to give him props. Do you remember but, this? Do you remember this? Yeah, yeah I do. But to be fair though, that's the only thing you've done in the game. No, I'm flat. <laughs> How are you finding the academy so far? It's, it's going well. Some guys are possible a bit more. They're kind of trying to show their stuff. But other than that, yeah, it's good. We got some talent flying about. We got Shaki. Hey, up? you got yourself to the uh, the academy season three. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. I thought you know if I couldn't get into the hashtag uh, team, uh, I tried trialing out a couple of years ago. If you guys don't know, and uh, didn't work out. So I thought I might as well be a scout. I'm waiting for my clipboard. Where's my pen and paper? Listen, we can make that happen. Yeah. Like, leave that on me. Like I can get you. Okay. Come on, yeah. Well done. Listen, we'll make the clip would happen. But if you do find someone. Yeah. Come and let us know. I got you. I got you. Literally me. Don't go to devs. Don't go to no one. Come and tell the people at home and tell me like who. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna spot the next star. Yeah. I don't like it. Seb had it in the first season. You know. I'm gonna spot the next superstar. Watch. I absolutely love this series. You know, for so many different reasons. Obviously, it's fun in itself. You know, finding a footballer, seeing these guys come out of nowhere because they are. Some of them play for decent clubs. Some of them don't. It's a really, really good opportunity for some of them. But we find a lot of people for this series, not just footballers. We've talked about it before, like Stampy's right there. Came through the first series, works for us now. I think we signed seven people in total from last series, made a first team appearance for us. But I love the idea of finding talent from, you know, crowdsourcing talent from YouTube, from whatever. Here's the other one, Martin Q, the winner of the second series, Josh Asude. We found him, we had to get rid of him. <laughs> Gleedy with a lustrous hair. Uh, have you seen any players that you fancy this early on into the process of season three of the academy? Yeah, so we've got a uh, number 64, um, Pink Boots. Is uh, straight from the start. We literally said to him, "You want to take the warm up?" He said, "Yep." Yeah. Literally got all the boys together, done a normal warm up, and uh, even now he's talking. He's getting back. He's meant to be playing uh, as a forward. That's what we need, team players. Cal, listen, you seem like a bit of a leader already for your sides. How are you feeling? Bit tired, but oh, I, can't, I can't speak. I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Takes a lot to lead a team that you don't really know nothing about anyway. Out of our team, I say I'm like the older one out of them all because they're like 
I don't know, what's the age? 18, 19, I'm 23, so yeah, literally just took it by the strings. The gaffer told me, can I take it? So I said, yeah. Here, I'm hearing you, listen, you're a hot shot. What's going on? Uh, listen, today's just gonna know it. See what I've got about, can't wait to play. It's been a good lot so far. Obviously first game in that, one. So can't wait, you're really. So do you think you'd go the way then, yeah? Oof. It's a long shot, innit? I think I'm good enough, but time will tell. That's what it is, time will tell, innit? How does it feel being here after winning the series last time? You know what, it's a weird one, you know, because I was here two years ago and I was nervous. You were shaking. Shaking, yeah, couldn't yeah. sleep. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, um, it's good to be on the other side looking at these guys. Just listen, he's got a camera here. He's trying to do some bits on his own. Come on, man. Um, YouTube channel coming out soon. Right, we've got Carlos Flood here, plays for the uh, Hashtag United Reserve team. Do you think you have what it takes to go the whole way? Yeah, remember the name, Carlos Flood. Oh. Wait, listen, hey, whoa, 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 hey, don't, hey, wait, I, I respect you, but listen, remember the name only sort of works for Sky P. Have you seen, any, seen anybody you like I've yet? I've seen a couple that I'm, I'm really enjoying watching. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've had to ask Ben and, and Seb if the standard's always been this high because I'm finding it really hard to cross people out. I've heard you found out, or you know, you you think you know who's going to win, right? I already know. I have the winner. Who is it then? I'm right here. The winner of the Academy Series this year is going to be number 49, Alex Chuck. Well, you hear that stance, yeah? He's won it. He's won it. Why? Why? He's he's my type of player. And if I was manager, he'd win it already. The trial would end right now. Alex Chuck, remember the name. <laughs> okay, well, look, listen, stay tuned because it seems to think that he's found the winner this early on. What's going on, G? Like, what? I can't even see you. What's going on? What's nothing? G, like, show me your face. What's going on? Look, okay. Are you hiding from people? Nah, not even. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you finding today, anyway? Uh, it's good. Still, just a lot of talent. You're just getting used to players you don't know with playing people you don't know with. So it's good. Good play. And, and, and what do you think of your gaffers? What do you think of your manager? I don't know about Toby, but well done, she good you. still. I don't know about Toby. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but she's been there. You've just been hugging the clipboard. You want to get on? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, who are we, we talking about? Talk, talk to me about some numbers. What's going on? What numbers? Right, let me tell you. Jake Lindsay, as we all know, everyone at home should know about him. Player. Very good player. And he looks like he's got even better. It's good to be back um, with the hashtag boys. Um, nice to get back on the pitch because it's been in lockdown for so long. Yeah. But doing what I love. You know what's actually really weird? He's got very similar mannerisms to Scotty P. I actually think you've got the same sort of haircut, yeah. same mannerisms, yeah. but what have you been doing within the last two years? Preparing for this. <laughs> he's, been, he's been preparing <laughs> for this moment yeah, right now. Moment. <laughs> so no, uh, do you think you go the way this time? We'll have to see, won't we? If I can take my chances and maybe I can get a bit further than I did before, and maybe go all the way, who knows? So one player that I do want to speak to is Kieran. Is it Kieran Hoddett, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Right, okay. So Kieran Hoddett, I believe, got an assist against us when you played for, was it Newbury? Newbury Forest, yeah. Newbury Forest, okay. And you were here for season two and you're back for season three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back for season three. Trying to get further than I did in season two, hopefully. I think I only got to the second round, I'm pretty sure. So I want to try and get further than that now. Big Al. Your good. time has come. I'll tell you what, purple team look good. I yeah. think do we win something if our team win? That I don't think works? that's a, I don't think oh, that's agreed, well, but if we find the winner. Then, if we ball. find the winner, do we win something? If you find the winner, I might have yeah. to have a word with Spen and see what we can do. Right. Have you got any players you want to talk to right. us about? Number thirty five, Kyron, he looks good. We've got no attackers on our team, so we're having to change positions a little bit, but he's been up top, looking good. Quick feet, energetic, that's what I'm looking for. The manager told us to just move the ball. You keep the ball because it's a big pitch. We only play seven aside. So like, once he was moving the ball, like, there was no problem. Like, we found pocket spaces and we score goals. Brilliant, love that. And you reckon you have what it takes to go the whole way or not? No, yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, do, you, do you know what? You know when someone says, yeah, I rate that so much? Yeah. No, yeah. Like, um, I'm confident in my abilities. And even like, I'm a centre mid and I'm playing up front. And to like, see the other centre mids here, like, there's great quality here. But me, I think that like, I can bring something else. Okay, we've done five matches. We have one set of matches left, 15 minutes to go. Last chance for these guys to impress and get themselves in the next stage. How have you found tonight? Have you seen any people that you're interested in? Yeah, there's some good ballers out there. Say number 70. 
Solid, great feet, finish as well. You attacking player I'm hearing, have you scored any goals today? I scored three. Man City scored three, Hattie, Hattie. Hey, and what have you been talking to saying about him? You know what, I've been saying, we need someone that runs behind. And I thought, I looked at him, I was thinking, he reminds me of Drogba. But I don't know, he needs to come across a good defender. I ain't seen in a, a bit of a challenge yet, so we'll see. Come across you, come across. He needs to come across you. <laughs> a match-up. If you change your mind again, uh, I've got a few players I like, that's the thing. No, but you told me, you, you said that you knew you, yeah. someone was going to win. Yeah, you I know, but sometimes, you know, like, you got, you, I open my eyes. There's a few more players that I like as well now. Okay, we will, without being too loud, who do you think's going to well, I like number 45, uh, I, think, I think his name's Carlos. Yep. And number 37, I've got it written on my phone, because I'm professional. Hamdan Ashimi Abdul Rashid, solid defensive, yeah. defensive midfielder. Yeah, but I want to see these guys on the left side. It's a different game. Really enjoyed being part of the last process. Obviously, we got Josh out of it, but not just Josh. We've got a few others. I think always, I think I've got to go into it all the time with an open mind, um, because it's really about, hopefully, through the process, someone who we feel is best fit for our club, has potential to improve our club, potential to improve themselves. Uh, hopefully, we give you know, them a bit of a shop window, if you like, to to bigger and better things, and in the sa same time, they help take us on to bigger and better things. We are going to use this one take now, but it's now come to that time to choose your remember the name. Who's it going to be? Um, been a hard decision, but I'm going to go with number 45, Carlos Flood. And why? Um, to be fair, he stood out on the pitch, um, technically very good. So I'd we'll like to see more of him. Right guys, this is usually the difficult bit. I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit easier this year because we're, we're not as uh, tight on who we can put through. Gonna be interested to hear your thoughts. We're looking for one standout player from each of you. Number 49, Alex Chuck. Alex Chuck, I've heard a lot of good things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's got a couple of nice tight finishes out there. Yeah. Number 144, Joel Older. He was a six foot plus wide man who, he had eye for goal, and every time I see it, he got stronger as the day went on. Number 35, Kyron Simpson Cameron. Mm. He's a yeah. centre mid, but we didn't have any attackers, so we ended up up front coming back. And number 132 for the silver team, uh, Glody, a centre back, composed. I thought, uh, especially towards the start, when you saw a few nerves out there, he was really composed on the ball. Kieran Huddett, midfielder. He got two or three episodes into the process last time, similar uh, as Jake Lindsay, another player that's Two years old, a bit more experienced, both kind of attacking midfield type players. I want to see him again. 1 1 3, his name's Brian. Uh, play centre mid, very composed on the ball, comfortable, quite technical as well. So, um, yeah, he stood out for me the most, I think. 70, Benny's an interesting one. So, he, uh, he yeah, he knows Jesse well last time they played together at Rebel. Um, he's been involved with National League South, uh, Hemel Hempstead. Well, I think we've got some really good names there. Looking forward to seeing how they get on in the next round. Well done to everyone that got through. So there you go, the trials are done. Some very talented players, both from the men and the women's side, going through to the next stage. Cannot wait to see them in action again. I hope you guys are enjoying the Hashtag Academy. I love doing it personally. Glad to be bringing it back for you guys. If you are enjoying it, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe for more top quality content. Become a member of our Hashtag United channel if you want to watch these matches live coming up and actually have a chance to vote on who goes through. And of course, if you want an education in all things football, check out UCFB. All the links you need are in the description. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.